Hello students, this is 1.31. A ball starts falling with zero initial velocity on a smooth inclined plane, forming angle alpha with the horizontal having fallen the distance h. The ball rebounds elastically off the inclined plane. At what distance from the impact point will the ball rebound for the second? Then understand the problem first. It is there is an inclined plane of inclination alpha there is an inclined plane of inclination alpha and a particle is falling from h height in that plane according to program particle is falling from height h in that plane so it is falling freely its initial velocity will be zero and uh, after traveling height h its velocity at the time of impact will be root 2 gh Become root 2 gh at the time of impact. A ball starts falling with zero initial velocity on a smooth inclined plane, forming angle alpha with the horizontal. Having falling the distance as the ball rebounds elastically off the inclined plane, at what distance from the impact point will the ball rebound for the second time? So, in this much height h, the initial velocity of the particle is zero, this height is h. So, the, at the time of impact, velocity will become root 2 gh. This is by Galileo's equation v square equal to u square plus 2 gh. Now, the angle, if we make an angle between the normal drawn on the incline and vertical, then this angle will be alpha. Because this angle is alpha, so this will be 90 minus alpha, so this is alpha. It means the v particle and root 2 gh speed set takaraiga is inclined. So, some is inclined ke normals alpha angle form karega. and it is given that the particle rebounds elastically off it means agar ye elastically off hota hai to jis velocity se iska collision hua hai usi velocity se reflect hoga is surface with same angle with same angle it means this angle will be alpha 2 it means particle is inclined and root 2 gh speed se collision karega aur and root 2 gh speed se return ho jayega alpha angle और फिर इस ट्रैक में आते हुए इस इंक्लाइन पे कुछ देर बाद फिर हिट करेगा सेकंड हिट होगा इसी इंक्लाइन पे थोड़ी देर बाद फिर हिट करेगा तो हमें ये कैलकुलेट करना है कि जब ये इंक्लाइन पे हिट करेगा देन एट व्हाट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द इंपैक्ट पॉइंट विल द बॉल रिबाउंड फॉर द सेकंड टाइम वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस मच डिस्टेंस सो फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस डिस्टेंस फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट द टाइम इन दिस प्रोजेक्टाइल पाथ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टोटल टाइम टेकन so at this uh, instant velocity is under root 2gh its component will be under root 2gh sin alpha and vertically it will be under root 2gh cos alpha its component of velocity are under root 2gh sin alpha and under root 2gh cos alpha these are the component of velocity so it returns perpendicular to the incline with velocity under root 2gh cos alpha at top point of its path its velocity will become zero and a component of gravity, we can resolve this gravity also in two components. This will be, uh, if this angle is alpha, then this will also be alpha. So, component of gravity are g cos alpha and along the incline, it is g sin alpha. So, accelerations are g cos alpha, g sin alpha. Under root 2gh velocity makes an angle alpha with vertical normal. So, under root 2gh cos alpha is rebound speed perpendicularly and root 2gh sin alpha is the velocity along the incline. These are the component of gravity, perpendicular and along incline. So, if we know initial velocity, final velocity, and component of gravity opposite to that, then time can be calculated by the formula v equal to u plus a d, and the terms are zero in the place of v. And this equation, we are taking this equation in perpendicular direction, along perpendicular, along normal direction. This equation. Is it means we have to solve any problem we have told you that every problem in the problem in projectile is a problem of 2D and 2D means apply 1D concept twice it means you have to apply this concept in this direction it means 2D means 1D twice so it is under root 2G is cos alpha initial velocity finally it is 0 at the top so V equal to U U is root 2G is cos alpha minus G cos alpha into t because gravity is not acting perpendicular to that direction.
it is g cos alpha which is perpendicular to that axis so it is along this this will be parallel to this anti parallel to this so v is equal to u minus gt so time taken will be and root 2 gh cos alpha upon g cos alpha and root 2 gh cos alpha upon g cos alpha cos alpha is cancelled so total time of journey t will be double of that it is twice t it is two times and root 2 gh by g so root g can be cancelled to g root g it will become root 2 h by g it is twice root 2 h by g this much time it will take in the complete path and in this much duration it will move also parallel to incline so if we consider the equation again along incline along incline then along incline we can apply the formula s equal to ut plus half at square this is along incline the value of s we have to calculate the total distance in this much time and with velocity this now along incline the velocity will be root 2 gh sin alpha time is 2 root 2 h by g plus half acceleration along this direction is g sin alpha into square of that time it is 8 h by g because the square is 2 to the 4 and 2 h by g it is 8 h by g so on solving this we will get s equal to root g root g are cancelled root 2 h root 2 h it is 2 h sin alpha into 2 this 2 is there it is 2 4 ja 8 4 h sin alpha so total s will become 8 h sin alpha it means in this much time total distance travelled by the particle will be 8 h sin alpha particle h i would say fall hua it incline ke surface pe to simply we can calculate the velocity root 2 gh at the time of impact or just velocity se takra hai normal ke saath usi velocity ho utne hi angle se rebound karega because the collision is elastic agar elastic nahi hota to velocity ka horizontal component to vary nahi karta vertical vary karega aur use bhi calculate kar sakte the but in this problem it is elastic collision so under root 2 gh speed se rebound karega alpha angle bana ke then its component perpendicular to this incline and parallel to this incline will be root 2 gh cos alpha and root 2 gh sin alpha component of gravity component of gravity along and perpendicular to incline are g sin alpha and g cos alpha first hume time calculate karna hai journey ka and that utne time will distance calculate so first step is to find the total time of this journey by this method, final velocity at the top is 0 perpendicular to incline. Its velocity is not 0 at that point, but its perpendicular component to incline is 0. So, V is equal to U minus GT. Pahali equation perpendicular direction. Time calculate ke half journey ka. So, total journey ke time 2 root 2 h by G. This is total time taken in the path. And total distance is U T plus half. So, by solving this, we will get 8 h sin. It is the answer of the problem. Thank you.